Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Roger Desjardins, and I'm County Manager for uh, Lee County. We want to talk to you this afternoon about changing events um, as they relate to uh, Hurricane Ian. I've been in the business of um, local government and, and uh, county management for many, many years, and I don't recall the last time that we had to manage a hurricane that was as difficult uh, as this one. Predicting the path of this storm um, has uh, has been uh, has not been a very easy task. The the storm yesterday, I would have bet, uh, would continue on its northerly path and and make landfall somewhere up around Tampa, as was predicted by the National Weather Service. But the storm has uh, steadily, for the last 12 hours or so, been inching its way to the east, and we now find ourselves in a position of uh, great peril in Lee County. We have made some decisions based on the you know, most current guidance from the, uh, from the National Weather Service uh, and uh, based on their guidance, Lee County is at this time expanding our evacuation zone, uh, evacuation orders for the third time today. We are now adding parts of uh, evacuation, uh, evacuation zone C. Uh, this order covers zone C in the North Cape Coral and zone C in North Fort Myers west of Interstate I-75. Please note that many parts of North Cape Coral and North Fort Myers are not in Zone C, so you need to visit our website and see what zone you're in, and that would be at www.legov.com, uh, where you will easily uh, be able to navigate to that information. We want all of the residents in Lee County, uh, those particularly in the zones where we're calling for evacuation to take this call seriously. Uh, this is a dangerous storm. Uh, we are anticipating uh, fairly high winds um, at landfall, about 110 miles an hour. We are uh, anticipating storm surges as high as 12 feet along areas of the coast, but it's impossible to present, predict exactly where along the coast uh, all of that is gonna take place. So I'd like to introduce uh, Sandra uh, Tapfumene, who is our uh, Director of Emergency Management for Lee County. Thank you, Roger. Uh, my name is Sandra Tafumine. I'm the director for Lee County Public Safety and Emergency Management. Lee County Emergency Management is urging Lee County residents who live in evacuation zones A and zone B, as well as the just pronounced portions of zone C, to heed the orders to leave their homes. As Roger pointed out, you can find those specific areas on our website at www.legov.com. We do have the map behind us as a reference, so this is the map that you would be looking for on our website. And we are talking about zone A being in the red color, zone B being in the orange color, and then those parts of zone C that Roger covered, which again, to, to just to reiterate, those are the north part of Cape, as well as into North Fort Myers, just west of I-75. We need to get this information out right now. This is a life safety critical message. Based on the National Hurricane Center forecast, Hurricane Ian is predicted to hit Southwest Florida as a category three storm, with the potential for eight to 12 feet of storm surge for Lee County, regardless of where the storm makes landfall along the coast of Southwest Florida. This forecasted storm surge could continue to in increase as forecasters refine the track and intensity. We are urging residents to seek shelter now. The National Weather Service anticipates the following specifically here for Lee County. Potential winds of greater than 110 miles per hour. Structural damage to sturdy buildings with some complete roof and wall failures large trees snapped or uprooted, and many roads impassable from trees and debris. Potential destruction of mobile homes, regardless of their location within the county. Also widespread power outages. Do not wait until the last minute. If you are planning on going to shelters, this will create long lines at shelters for the registration process during potentially windy and wet conditions. If you are planning on seeking shelter, now is the time to go. If you wait to leave your evacuation zone to stay with a family member or friends, which is our recommended approach, 
It will also cause traffic on our roadways and deteriorating weather conditions. Public safety services, law enforcement, fire, and EMS will be limited as the weather deteriorates and the storm approaches, and then will stop responding during the height of the storm. Please take action to protect yourself and execute your hurricane plan. We do not know what the ultimate track will be, but if you wait too long, it will likely be too late to evacuate. So please act now. Thank you.